welcome to Bundy Bear Shed. Well, this is a product review, and it's a product review for a for an endoscope, HD endoscope. Now, the other day, with my channel here, the other day I was thinking of getting an endoscope. I thought, well, to look down into the engines with the injectors out and things like that. Um, I'd have a look what was around and so I started having a look at them and guess what <laughs> Jason from Banggood emailed me the very day and said is there anything else you'd like to do a review on you know would you would you, you know, have a look and see if there's anything again uh, we've done four or five Banggood reviews and um, I'm not all that big on doing them to tell you the truth the um, but in saying that, I've never found fault with their product. Um, it just seems like cash for comment. But anyway, I, look, I said, yeah, let's do that. I, it's something I've been interested in. And um, so I thought we'd, we'd have a bit of a go at it. So, so what they came up with was a, um, a an endoscope with a one meter lead. And I guess so that's that's the box. Um, they say it's shipbuilding industry and all that. I don't know about that, but anyway. Um, and look, it's a great box. Um, new digital video recording endoscope is a portable handheld multifunction unit. So, so when you open the box, look, it is packed very well. I'm not one for un unboxings videos really, but you get the the main pistol grip for the endoscope and you get the screen now they come disassembled and at the back of the endoscope you just have a, a multi-pin plug same on the screen here and on it just slides on you couple them up and away you go now on the main screen you have like a camera up down you can actually turn the picture up and down and all around and all that so look that's a good thing they um we'll just have a look of the screen size is four inch four inch screen 100 mil that's okay now but also in the packaging comes a one meter cable and that's the cable that you do the um, videoing with that's got the camera in it and there's also a charging cable now it charges off a USB you, um, you charge it off your computer I, um, I just bang mine in and charge it up with the phone charger I had a Samsung phone charger sitting in on a point there so I, I just popped it in there and she charged up nicely so when you want to use it I'm actually going to keep it in the original packaging in a, in a set of drawers here um, it'll keep it nice and clean and, and tidy and all that sort of thing so now on the end of the on the end of the camera here there's a small thread They give you a little plastic cap, and I found with a little plastic cap, there's no worries getting it on. You want to get it off again, you do have a bit of trouble, but you can just see there there's a screw thread, and that's the end of the camera. So there's a little plastic ferrule, olive, for want of a better word, to go down over the end. Uh, that's just a thread protection device, which is a good thing. So. When we start it up, all we do is press this button at the back here. No, I was, ha, <laughs> no you don't. That's how you get the screen off. I'm just learning, I've only had just had a little play with this thing. Up the top here.
there we go so you have your screen and there's the camera looking at the camera and you can see now that's 90 degrees that that's off to the angle so I found with this that you have to give it a bit of a twist to, to get it all to line up again now the light in the end there's a on the on the side here there's a little light button now you can have the light on off and on a couple of settings so light off so there's three different intensities and off now I fed this down a bore um, down a bore on the Massey Ferguson 135 I pulled the injectors out or well I had the injectors out and I've I've put new pistons in and I was interested to see if this would fit down into the hull and um, look it fitted nicely the um, going down in with the light on low it was okay um, with it on bright in a new bore it flared out but in a dark environment you know, like up a drain or something like that well uh, um, the high on the light the, the, the brightest setting on the light would probably be a great thing now if you want to take a photo with this camera there's a little picture of a camera there so I've got an SD card in so we can take a picture of what we're seeing there now and that's taking a picture now if we'd like to record a video in HD of it um, actually doing something, you know, heading down a pipe or something, we can hold that button in and see up in the top here, if I get it out of the light, you get a little counter starting. And so that's actually recording that in HD. So on the screen here, when I'm trying to show you the um, show you the screen, it's a bit washed out. But what we'll do, we'll actually pop the card out and we'll see what we can see. So I'll take this camera. <laughs> I always find them on the wrong angle. And if you want to go upside down. There you go, then you can come back again. So that's been recorded as a video, I'll stop that now and we'll pop the card out and have a look at what we've got. Right, so that's a bit of a fiddle um, with the endoscope here. Um, as a as a product, I reckon it's a cracker. Um, I, I really enjoyed it. Um, when I when you get it, there is some instructions with the box, and look, they're all right, um, but I. I was working away with it and I read on the side that it should do um, 1080 HD video and I was thinking well how the heck does it do that and it was only with a fiddle around that I actually learnt to hold the button down and that would hold the camera or turn the camera into a video instead of a, a picture so but look all in all um, apparently um, you can send the picture to a mobile phone I haven't done that that's not something I feel I would do um, 
there is a little pot that came with it and I don't know what I've done with that pan. Here we go. And in the pot, there's a couple of things that screw onto the end of the camera. Now, one of them is a magnet. So the camera screws up the end here. So that screws on the end of the magnet. And you can actually make it stick to something. But I had a look at that and I thought, well, that's probably all well and good. But once you've got the um, once you've got that happening on the screen, all that you can see is the magnet. So you would actually have to bring something in. Where are we? Bring something in through there to see it and I, I sort of in my industry I was sort of wondering what I'd find that good for. Now another another item is a hook. Now look I can understand with a hook you can still only see the end of the hook but if you're running that along a brake line or something like that, well, it would give you a, um, a, a definite position. So that's okay, I suppose. I can't imagine you would just hang it on the hook. On, like, I just can't see the use for that. Now, there is a, a little mirror. And the little mirror is on a 45. And I gave that a bit of a wipe and a run, and I thought, well, that's probably the handy, a handy little tool, that. So, I popped that on, give the mirror a bit of a clean up, and all I could find was it would wash out. The, um, with the, with the mirror on. So, you, you can see a reflection of a sort, but it's very hard to actually hone in on anything with the mirror. But anyway, look, it's there. It's a, <laughs> probably not something I'd really use a lot. Um, I, I tried to think of instances where I would use bits and pieces, and I thought at least for the mirror one, if it was nice and clean, I could feed it down an injector hole, and it would look across the other side of the ball, because when you come down a hole, you can just see the top of the piston, but um, but look with the video footage, um, I've got you know in the in the um, that the camera took. You've got to be happy with it, and um, I'll I'll put I'll put a link to Banggood. That's part of the deal um, is that I do a review, um, warts and all, and if there's any good points or poor points, we bring it forward, but. You must understand, this was given to me by Banggood. I didn't pay for it. It was just a, um, um, a, a, it's just their way of getting their product out in front of everyone. So, um, I've used turning tools of these before and things like that. And I, look, they're all pretty good. Um, I've got thermometers and digital tacos and things like that. The electronics part, they seem quite good at. But look, for a tool for my shed, it's a great thing. Um, not something I would use every day, there's no need, but um, I can certainly see where it would be handy for me, and um, particularly feeding it down. I actually tried to feed it down a gearbox hole, and um, but yeah, it got oily quick. <laughs> so that's that's part of it, I suppose. But um, apparently you can put the camera end underwater, and it's okay. I, I didn't do that. Um, I didn't think I... I didn't have the need to, so so there you go. The Banggood HD Endoscope. That's the package it came in. We will put a link to it and make up your own mind. But look, for my money, I reckon it's a great tool. For well, my money, I didn't pay for it. <laughs> but look, it's a good tool. Um, it does what they say it would do, and it's reasonably well priced. 
So there you go. Thanks for watching. Um, buy one if you want. If you don't want, don't bother. <laughs> That's up to you. All right, we'll catch you all later, right?